Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Welcome to Mount Carmel Ministries Wednesday night Bible study. Amen. A time of refreshing coming from the presence of the Lord. Amen. We thank you for tuning in via Facebook Live and YouTube. Glory to God. This is our, uh, our last uh, uh, Bible study of 2023. Somebody shout hallelujah. Glory to God. And we always greet you here at Mount Carmel with a hearty Merry Christmas for we celebrate the life of our Lord and Savior 365 or 366 days a year. Amen. Again, we thank you for tuning in. If you tune in, hit that share button, call somebody, let them know that we're on. We have a word from the Lord for you tonight. Amen. And right now we're going to have a song from our musician, glory to God, Minister, Mr. Derek Davis. Amen. Come on, praise the Lord in this place. Love lifted me. Lifted me when nothing else could help. That's why I praise you, Lord, and I lift you up, and I magnify your name, oh, Lord. That's why my heart is filled with praise, and we have come into this house. Christ the Lord Worship Him Christ the Lord Hallelujah Glory to God We thank God for that Select those selections Amen Glory to God Tonight we're going to be talking about Joseph since we're closing out our Christmas uh, season now, glory to God. We wanted to take time to just look at Joseph, the earthly father of Jesus, and look at some of the things that Joseph did uh, and, and, and incorporate those things in our lives because we too have been chosen by God. 
So let's pray and we're going to get into this word tonight. Father God, we thank you for what you've done. We thank you for what you're doing. We thank you, O oh God, for bringing us through 2023 and we're on the brink of going into 2024. Father, you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Now, God, as we go through it, go into this time of preaching and teaching, oh God, we decrease in this place that you may increase. Holy Spirit, have your way. Lead us, guide us, direct us. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for the revelation knowledge that shall flow freely in this place, uninterrupted or hindered by any satanic or demonic force. And Lord God, when we leave this place, we will leave better than we came. We decree and declare it in Jesus' mighty and matchless name. Amen, amen, and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Again, we thank God for you tuning in. We thank God for those who are coming into the building. We thank God for those who are online. We thank God for those who are on the way. Amen. Glory to God. He's a mighty, mighty good God. And he can do anything. Amen. Glory to God. We just sometimes we say anything but fail. We just want to say he can do anything. Amen. Glory to God. I heard somebody say, God grown. He can do anything he want to do. Amen. Glory to God. And, and glory to God, we want to grow up and be like him. Somebody shout amen. Glory to God. So again, let's, uh, we thank God for you tonight. And we thank God for those who are tuning in. And we're going to have a good time in the Lord tonight. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, Dick, I heard they had a good time. And I heard that uh, our hair or like thereof was the topic of a conversation. Oh. Why didn't you tell me that? Yeah. Hallelujah. They had all that good food there to eat, but they, but, but, but did you know, that let us know that they're thinking about us no matter what they're doing. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. That's how we're going to look at it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. So let's look at Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 through 25. And we're going to use that tonight uh, as we talk about Joseph, the father, the earthly father of Jesus. Now look what the uh, Bible says. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother Mary, who was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, did not want to make her a public spectacle, uh, example, was minded to put her away secretly. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take you, Mary, your wife. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. And she will bring forth a son, and you will call his name Jesus, and he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. Then Joseph, being aroused from his sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took to him his wife and did not know her till she had brought forth her firstborn son and called his name Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory. Isn't, isn't that good? Hallelujah. Now, now, we talk a lot about Mary, and Mary is a strong woman. Amen. But we can't talk about Mary without giving Joseph some props. Amen. Uh, because as a man, uh, uh, he had this awesome responsibility of taking care of this child that was not his. Amen. The, it was the providence of God that chose Joseph out of everybody who was living in the earth at that time to be the father. The, to be the earthly father of his son. Somebody shout amen. amen. Oh, isn't that good to just stop and just meditate on a minute, the fact that he was chosen. Just tell somebody you chose him, you chose him. You chose. See, if you don't get nothing else out of this sermon tonight, this teaching tonight, know that you've been chosen. Amen. You've been chosen. Watch this. Just like Esther for such a time as this. Amen. Glory to God. That's why you couldn't be born back then and you were not be, be born in the future. God had you born at this specific time because if I wouldn't have been born, glory to God, Deborah wouldn't be blessed like she's blessed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. But look, let's, let's look at scripture. Let me keep it in the scripture. 
scriptures. Amen. First Peter chapter two, verse nine and 10 tells us this. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, his holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praise of him who call you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. Isn't that good to know that you and I have been chosen to represent him in the earth realm? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And then let's look what Paul says in Ephesians chapter one, verse four. He says, uh, just as he chose, just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. So he, we are chosen or were chosen before the foundation of the world. Amen. You and I didn't have anything to do with being chosen. We were simply chosen because God chose to choose us. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. And look what Jesus says in John chapter 15, verse 16. He says, you did not choose me, but I chose you. Come on now. And appointed you that you should bear fruit. Uh oh, look at now. Now, 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 now it's getting down to the nitty gritty. He said, I chose you because there's seed, or I'm putting seed in you. I want you to be a fruit bearer for me in the earth realm. Glory to God. He goes on to say uh, that you may bear fruit and that your fruit, watch this, should remain. That whatever you ask the Father in my name, He'll, he'll give you. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. See, when we stop and we start to think about who we are in him, the fact that we've been chosen just like Joseph was chosen, glory to God, evidently God sees something in us that we sometimes don't see in ourselves. Uh, and, and see, the Bible says, I believe Romans 8 and 28 says, and we know that all things, come on church, works together for the good of them that what? are called, that love him, and that are called according to his purpose. Amen. How many know that you have a purpose in God? Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, God has a purpose for you, but you and I have to walk into that purpose because we've been chosen. Amen. Oh, yeah. Now, now, now uh, the title I got up there is a step down to step up. Amen. Since Joseph is not the father, but but he's a stand in. He's a substitute. Amen. We call we use the word stepfather uh, here in the earth realm. Amen. Uh, but watch this now. Uh, even though it, it, he may have been a stand in, he might not have been the father, but he stepped up to the responsibility of being a father. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. He knew the baby was not his. Glory to God. And God had told him, don't be afraid of this. Amen. This is me. Amen. And you got to know that Joseph and Mary knew something about God. Amen. On both sides of the family, they had they were they had priestly ties. Amen. Amen. And so this is where wow, that's good there, God. Thank you. When you're faced with a situation that you don't really know how you're going to handle it, you need to go to the Word of God. Amen. The old folks will say you need to go back to your roots. Uh, hallelujah. Joseph, hallelujah. I believe his family were rooted in the Lord. Amen. Amen. And that's what helped Joseph to get a handle on what was going on. And that how many of the scripture says. Uh, 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 with Christ, we can do all things. Amen. Now, 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 now that this may not have been said when Joseph was had come along, but Joseph, I believe, got this in his spirit that glory to God. If this is of God and God is with me, glory to God. I don't really need to worry about this. Amen. Amen. How many know that sometimes we worry about stuff because we looking at how we're going to handle it instead of looking at uh, uh, God's going to help us. Amen. Oh, glory. Because he won't tell you. He said, I won't leave you or forsake you. And that's what he said in his word. Glory to God. So watch this now. But now Joseph had to do some stuff. Amen. How many know that Joseph had dreams and aspirations? Oh, glory to God. Yes, he did. Joseph had his plan, didn't he? Amen. And then when the when, when, when this situation, somebody said situation, arose, glory to God, his plans just went to, just gone, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And so he's, he's, he's meditating on how he's going to handle this. Amen. He has a little integrity. Amen. I ain't going to put, I ain't, I ain't going to put on blast. I ain't going to go on Facebook and say, look what she done done to me. I'm not going to, hallelujah, glory. We just going, we just going to get this thing on. No, we just going to be quiet about this. No, 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 no. Uh, well, Joseph is meditating on how he's going to do it, but then he's open to hearing from God. Oh, yeah. that's come on. <laughs> oh, you got to be open to hearing from God. Amen. The Bible says man plans, but God decides. Amen. Oh, when we start to get to the point where glory to God, we let God be God and we just follow him. Tell your neighbor, everything going to be all right. Oh, yeah. oh, hallelujah. So Joseph had to surrender all of his plans to follow God's plan. 
Now, now, I just ask a question. How many of you think that was a bad decision that Joseph, and, and y'all, 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 y'all know what you're going to say, glory to God. No, Pastor, it wasn't, it wasn't. It wasn't. But, but, you know, sometimes uh, 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 we, have, we, we think about stuff, but wasn't that the best decision Joseph could have ever made? Glory to God. The mere fact that God had chosen in God's own providence, in, jo- in God's own sovereignty, looking at everybody that he has made, he said, Joseph, you're going to be my man. Oh, hallelujah. He said, Joseph, you're going to be my man because he sees something in Joseph. Amen. And can I just say this to some brothers out there? God saw something in you. That's why you are the father of the children that you are the father of. Amen. You might not have the full revelation of what God is calling you to do, but God is going to speak to you if you're open to hearing from God and watch God show you what it is that you ought to do to train up, to raise up that boy, that girl in the direction, uh, uh, the way they supposed to be raised up so that they could fulfill the will that God has for their lives. All right. Oh, hallelujah. So he's not the biological father, but tell your neighbor psychologically. Mm-hmm. Psychological glory. See, so, see, 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 sometimes if, you, if, if, if you're more psychological than biological, you the best thing come than sliced bread. Amen. Glory to God. A lot of, oh, y'all better say, y'all better pray for help me. Amen. There's some folk who are biological that ain't did nothing for their children. Come on, help me out, God. Glory to God, glory to God. But but somebody who's not that biological father, but in their heart and in their mind and in their spirit, they have taken that child to be their own, amen? They didn't just assume the role, they were consumed by the role. Woo, God, I love you. They, 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 they're so consumed by it that, 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 that they live and they move and they breathe to make sure that that child is trained, raised right, amen? Glory to God. So mentally, emotionally, intellectually, glory to God, economically, how many know children would get in your pocket? Oh, y'all ain't got to, come on now. We, my, 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 I need to talk to the folk that, um, that spent some money doing this. <laughs> Can I just be, to be honest? They won't just get in your pocket at Christmas. <laughs> Oh, but we have, don't, can, can we just praise God that we got something, talk to me now, in the pocket, come on now, that they could get, yeah. hallelujah, oh, because some of us remember a time coming up, our parents didn't have a whole lot in their pocket, but God done blessed us, come on now, come on now, glory to God, so we're not, we're not complaining, we just talking, amen, yeah. glory to God, hallelujah, mm-hmm. And positionally, he's, he, 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 he's, he's taking this role and he's taking it seriously. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So again, he didn't just assume this role. He's consumed by being him. Amen. Glory to God. He understood the, the, the responsibility of what it meant and that God is allowing him to do this for him. Amen. How I many of the, the Bible says our uh, uh, children are a blessing from the Lord? The scripture says, blessed is the man who has his quiver full. Amen. So glory to God. We, uh, Joseph is blessed. Tell your neighbor, Joseph is blessed. Uh huh. But Joseph still had to make some sacrifices, didn't he? Glory to God. Look, look, even in verse 25 of the text we read that he married her, but he did not know her until she brought forth her firstborn son and called his name Jesus. Amen. In other words, uh, 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 all the plans that Joseph had, watch this now, Joseph didn't mind putting those plans on hold. Oh, hallelujah. How many of us put our plans on hold for the Lord? Amen. Glory to God. Uh, you gotta you 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 have to decide that God has to be, God not has to be, God is my priority. Somebody shout amen. Woo, glory to God. And see, when you put God as a priority, how many know that you already God's priority? Oh, come on now. It, it ain't that God, it, it's not that God got you on the back burner. God is always perfecting those things that pertain to me. Amen. Glory to God. But see, Joseph had to be willing to make a personal sacrifice. He had to be willing to put his plans on hold, and he didn't even touch his wife. Amen. He didn't. Can y'all? Can we talk a minute? Why didn't? Why didn't Joseph touch her? Joseph did not want to interfere in any way or form with what God had going on. Glory to God. He, watch this now. Watch this now. Woo! Now, 
the Bible says, the Bible doesn't say that, 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 that God grabbed a hold of Joseph and said, don't you touch him. The Bible says that Joseph made this conscious decision on his own. Good God of mine. If we go back to Genesis, I believe chapter 12, 13, 14, so up in there with Abraham, when he lied, hallelujah, there was, in one situation, the Bible says that when that, when the, when that king, that, that monarch, that man took Sarah into his tent, God took his, took the desire away from him to even think about messing with her. Glory to God. Uh, Joseph still had the desire, but he shut it down. Y'all better help me up in there. He shut it down until, somebody say amen. Glory to God. Until, <laughs> woo! I know, come on, come on with it. Come on with it. You, you know, uh, I was reading earlier this week, and uh, in this vein, kind of, sort of, and um, a writer was writing about how Mary, when her time came, and she uh, had the baby Jesus, and you know, and, and then what it, what it, a, a person goes through to have a child. Uh huh. And then I was saying, I said, wait a minute. This from the Holy Spirit. How you know she even had any, any pain? Any pain whatsoever. Come on now. Come and on so now. She never knew a man, and she a virgin, and all this stuff that you talking about now. And so, how you know what she, what her body, what she went through? Mm -hmm. How the Holy Spirit just took care of her. Come you know when she, when she went through this, this young, young teenager, girl. You uh -huh. know how you, what she went through. She never knew a man. How, I mean, how you know it, this might have been the smoothest, painless, you know, no pain killer, but you didn't need, I mean, this was from the Holy Spirit. This Bible just wasn't like, you know, bam. Well, what what y'all, what y'all, what y'all lay this thing? What y'all lay this thing? <laughs> well, the curse came in from the sin. Uh-huh. So. She wasn't. Uh, she God wasn't. On the, was doing come on, that, that's what God. Glory to God. God so, got. It. I don't think she would feel it. And then naturally, some women just don't have no pain in mm, childbearing. Ooh. God got His hand on it, don't He? Hallelujah, glory to God. And we're going to believe, glory to God, that, oh. that like you said, God got this thing, Amen. Yeah. Because because He God, Amen. Yeah. Glory to God, glory to God. But you know, we, you know, we 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 like to uh, uh, theorize based on what we currently experience. Yeah. Amen, glory to God. Yeah. But, but, but I, 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 oh, uh, that's another story, I can't get in that glory. Uh, it, it was a divine thing, oh, amen? Yeah. Glory to God, watch this thing. And, and, and because again, Mary made that sacrifice too, amen? And how many know that whenever you give something to the Lord, God gonna give you back better? Okay. Glory to God. And she, put, she, she loaned her body to him, didn't she? Glory to God. And, 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 and so Joseph gave his life, didn't he? Yes. Okay, glory. Okay. Now, well, oh, woo. Now, now, when you make these personal sacrifices, uh, again, when, whenever you give God something of value, God can't help but to give you something more valuable back. That's just his nature. That's just his nature. I think she may have been anticipating this and, and thinking about what she was carrying it uh -huh. in all these years, Ooh, it had been is. prophesied. Is. So is. she probably ignored any kind of pain. She had if she it. had so any what pain, she what she was what focused she was on yeah. outweighed the pain. Amen. Yeah. Or have you ever? Uh, uh, they, they even teach. Amen. When you're going through something, fi fi fix your eyes on something yeah. and, and and concentrate yeah. on that, and you won't you won't. You, oh, hallelujah! So she was focused on accomplishing. What God had said she was going to accomplish, amen. And Joseph got the same way, amen. And watch this now. Again, look at look at uh, Matthew 13, 55 through 56. Uh, 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 he, he's a carpenter, right? And they say, Is not this the carpenter's son? And uh, is not this his mother Mary? Uh, 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 glory to God. And his brother James and Joel and Simeon, uh, Simon and, and Judas and his sisters. In other words, glory to God. Remember the scripture said he didn't touch her until she brought forth her her first born son. Amen. So watch this now. When you make a sacrifice to the Lord and you take your plans and you put your plans on the back burner, God, hallelujah, if your plans are like God plans, uh -huh, and if God has ordained your plans, uh, uh, your plans will come to pass. 
Amen. So, so he wanted children, didn't he? I'm going to say he did. Amen. And now he has four sons and at least two daughters. Amen. Glory to God. He has four sons and at least two daughters. Amen. Why? Because he decided, God, I'm, uh, you, you called me to do this. I'm going to do this. Amen. Oh, and how many know that if God did it once, he can do it again? Because, again, if we go back in the book, help me, Holy Ghost, the book of First Samuel, there was a woman by the name of Hannah. Amen. Glory to God. She prayed and she vowed, give me a man child. I'll give him back to you. He did that and he visited her and she had three more sons and two daughters, something like that. Amen. She had five more children, didn't she? Glory to God. So we see in the word of God, when we take a step back for God, God knows how to cause us to step up. He, call, he knows how to take us to another level in him. Amen. Glory to God. But now I got to talk about a little something here. That, uh, 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 there was a danger in being the stepfather of Jesus. There was a danger. There was a danger. There was a danger. And see, Joseph is aware of the danger. Amen. But 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 kind of like Mary uh, focusing on the mission, focusing on what God has said, Joseph is kind of focused on that as well because he's trusting God. He's trusting God. He's trusting God. He's the, he knows that he's in a dangerous situation, but he knows that God is, can I put it this way? Don't get mad with me. God is more dangerous than anybody in the earth realm. Glory to God. Come on now. Come on now. Because, because the, the, the Bible says, why do you fear man who can only hurt the body? Y'all better help me. But fear God who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Right. Ooh, glory to God. Huh? Uh, see, you and I got to learn how to focus on the greater one in spite of all these other ones. Amen. Glory to God. Watch this now. Watch this. So again, he's a carpenter. I, I just, you know, when I was writing, now, Joseph took this responsibility on like a shepherd. Like a shepherd. Now, 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 somebody said, Pastor, why you say that? Why you said he took on raising uh, Jesus like a shepherd? He, he, he's willing to lay down his life. He's in a dangerous situation. Come on. He cared for him, amen. Even though he's not his biological, he treats him like he is, amen. And, and, and let's just look at, look, at, look at the scripture, what the scripture said about a good shepherd. John chapter 10, verse 1, uh, verse 7, 7 through 15, look what it said. And Jesus said again, most surely I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All who have come before, who have came before me are thieves and robbers, uh, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved. He will go in and out and find pasture. So again, this door is an entryway. Amen. Glory to God. And so Joseph uh, 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 is charged with being uh, an example to Jesus as he's growing up. And he has to be led by God on how to raise him up to be a God-fearing young man. And even to be obedient to the mother and father. We find that in, when Jesus was 12 years old, after they found him in the temple, after being missing for three days, the Bible says he went home with them and was subject to them from the age of 12 until he went into ministry. Are y'all with me? <coughs> Glory to God. And because, again, I believe Joseph is training them up. Joseph is raising them up to be that, that man that God has called them to be. But let's keep going. Amen. Uh, 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 we know that thief comes, steal, kill, Destroy. Jesus said, I come. Uh, uh, so let's say Joseph is a positive influence on him. Amen. Glory. And then he taught him his trade. Amen. He taught Jesus was a carpenter. Joseph was a carpenter. Amen. And I, again, like I said, uh, what does a carpenter work with? Wood. wood. Amen. And in the Bible, wood symbolizes humanity. Hallelujah. And so Jesus has come to give us a total makeover. Amen. To totally remodel us. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. So Joseph raised him right. But look at verse 11 of our text. He says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. Look, 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 look. But the hireling, he does not, uh, who, uh, excuse me, but a hireling, he who is not the shepherd, one who does not own the sheep sees, sees the wolf or danger coming and leaves the sheep and flees. Joseph, glory to God, stepped up to the plate. Tell your neighbor he stepped up to the plate. Glory to God. He's going to be 
who God needs him to be. And watch this now. What he can't do, I believe he believes that God will enable him to be able to be. Amen. Glory to God. He's a good God. Amen. Glory to God. Look what it goes on to say. Uh, 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 let me see. This. But the, the hireling flees because he's a hireling and he does not care about the sheep. But Joseph loved Jesus just like he did his own children. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> look, look. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Maybe, just maybe, them other children got blessed because of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Because Jesus being that example, amen, and Jesus being who he is, he wanted to make sure he get it, get it right. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. So he protected him just like the shepherd protects the sheep. Amen. Let's, let's look at Matthew chapter 2, verse 13 through 15. Amen. Because we start to see uh, uh, some of the dangers that 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 Joseph and Mary and Jesus encountered uh, as Jesus is growing up, as Jesus is coming up. Uh, 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 Matthew 2, verse 13, Luke said, Now when they had departed, behold, an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and stay there till I bring you word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Amen. Glory to God. So, so the, the, this is where this is where the wise men uh, have, have gone, and 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 Jesus uh, uh, is is young. And we know that Herod uh, sent out a decree that all the children, all the male children, two years old and under, be destroyed, because he's trying to he's trying to get Jesus. Amen. He's calculating the time when they came by him to ask him where they were, and 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 he and they, they, they you know they told him that he's going to be born in Bethlehem. Uh, and so he's trying to, trying to get him. Amen. Oh, but glory to God. How many know that God knows that the devil is still trying to get you? Amen. amen. Glory to God. And how many know that God done prayed for us? I feel the Holy Spirit. Amen. Y'all remember Luke chapter 22? You, yeah. Luke chapter 22, uh, uh, Peter was talking that stuff. And Jesus said, hey, bro. And he said like that. He said, Satan desires to have you that he may sift you as wheat. But I don't pray for you that your faith not fail. And but the Lord told after you are converted, you're gonna be able to strengthen your brothers. Amen. Glory to God. So God knows all this stuff that's going on. And because Joseph is open to hearing from God, glory to God, God is talking to him. Can I say it on a regular basis? On a regular basis. How many know God can talk to you on a regular basis? Or how many know God talks to you on a regular basis? Oh, can, 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 can I just, 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 just say this? And, and, and hallelujah. Uh, 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 anybody remember when God would talk to you on a regular basis, but you, tr you chose to put him on mute? I'm going to go over here. Uh, you, 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 you chose not to hear his voice because you didn't want to hear what he had to say. Oh, but isn't it good to know that now you love talking to him? Somebody say amen. Oh, hallelujah. You get, and, and look, if, if, if you go a little while and you don't hear nothing from him, you don't, be, you, 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 you don't necessarily be fussing with him. You start checking you. Talk to me now. You start checking you to make sure your dials hadn't been set on something else. Huh? You're a person have blind spots. Amen. Glory to God. And so you got to stay tuned in to God. And Joseph, glory to God, Tune in, and I, I, I believe Joseph stayed tuned in. Why? Because he understood the awesome responsibility that he had. Hallelujah. And see, not, not, not only that, but as he's blessed with the other children, glory to God, his responsibility didn't decrease. His responsibility increased. But see, we serve a God, y'all ain't helping me, of increase. Amen. Because God says, as I increase you, I'll increase you. God help me. Glory to God. I'm going to always give you the capacity if you will allow me to handle whatever I give you. Amen. But you got to be open to God to receive it. Somebody shout amen. amen. Glory to God. Okay, okay, okay. He said, he said, verse 14. And when he arose, he took the young child and his mother uh, by night in the part of Egypt. Uh, 
and they were there until the death of Herod that it might be fulfilled, uh, which was spoken by, uh, by the Lord through his prophet saying, out of Egypt I've called my son. And so again, all of this is lining up with prophecy, amen? Now, I don't know how versed Joseph was in prophecy, but I know God is well versed in it, amen? And God is the one who's causing all these things to come to pass. But watch this now, Joseph is just following the lead of God, amen? Oh, hallelujah. And, and God, uh, 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 that's why he gave us the Holy. That's why we have the Holy Ghost. And if we would just follow his lead, everything will be all right. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Let's keep going. Let's uh, uh, verse 19 to 23 in Matthew chapter 2. Look what it says. Now, when, when Herod uh, was dead, glory to God. Hallelujah. Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared uh, uh, to Joseph in a dream. And, uh, <laughs> Joseph been doing some dreaming, ain't he? Glory yeah. to God. He's doing some dreaming. But look, 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 look. He's paying attention to his dreams. Amen. He's paying attention because God is speaking to him through these dreams. Amen. How many know that God still speaks in dreams? Amen. Amen. But glory to God. How many know that God still speaks? God also speaks through his son. Oh, glory to God. Watch this now. Glory to God. Uh, uh, in Old Testament times, a lot of times, that's all they had were the dreams and the visions. Ain't, ain't, am I right about it? I believe the Hebrews said, but now he's spoken to them through his son. Somebody shout amen. So, so we have better communication with God than they had in the Old Testament. Amen. Matter of fact, matter of fact, we don't only have a ho the Holy Ghost that comes on us. Come on now. We got the Holy Ghost who dwells in us. Amen. Glory to God. And so so, so uh, we don't have to go looking for a way to talk to God. If you're saved, he's already there. Ooh, glory to God. Every now and then, you might have to shake yourself. You may have to stir up yourself so that you can start to hear what he said. Mm -hmm. Every now and then, you may have to shut some other things down so that you can hear him more clearly. Amen. Glory to God, because there's some stuff in the world that's in competition with God completing what God want to complete in you. That's right. Amen. So again, let me know. So, so now when Herod was dead, an angel appeared unto Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel. For those who sought to kill the child, excuse me, for those who sought the young child's life, or dead. Anybody see anything right there? Huh? Anybody see anything? Herod is dead, but also those who sought the young child's life. So we find out that Herod wasn't the only one that wanted Jesus dead. Herod wasn't the only one that didn't want him to grow up to be king of the Jews. Remember now, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, when, when, when he called them in, uh, when, when the first Herod called them in, he said, y'all know about this stuff? Yeah, we know about it. Well, where's this king supposed to be born? He go, he supposed to be born in Bethlehem. Now, they knew the prophecy but they weren't doing anything to follow through on seeing the prophecy come to pass. Because Jesus coming in on the scene was going to do what? Disrupt. He was going to disrupt everything. everything they had going on. He, he was going to be king. They were now going to have, they, they, they were already caught a, a sort of under the rule of the Romans, right? Right? Uh -huh. Now they're going to be under the rule of the Romans and under the rule of the king, the, son, the king of the Jews. And they didn't want that. But how many know that God took care of that? Amen. Come on now. Come on now. See, 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 look, look, look. You, uh, all you got to do is trust God. You, uh, you don't need to know who all your enemies are. Because God knows who all your enemies are. And if God knows who all your enemies are, God knows how to take care of your enemies. Ooh, good God of mine. And see, sometimes God will hide your enemies from you so that you won't try to do something to your enemies to mess yourself up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, uh, again, yes, you know, you know, you uh, y'all remember uh, Abigail. 
wife of what's it, Nabal, what's it, Nabal? Hallelujah. Uh-huh. And he, he, he refused to give David some raisin cakes or whatever. Uh-huh. And, 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 and David had protected his folk out there in the field. Uh, and, 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 and David had said, posse up. We're going to look. Hey, we, 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 we. But Abigail got worried. Amen. And Abigail fixed some stuff and lit out. Met him. Fell, got off the horse, fell down. And started talking to him, amen? Oh, and David, can I say it this way? The way she talked, David heard God. Stopped him from making a big mistake. Because, and, and the Bible says uh, when, she went, when she finally went home, she waited till, till Nabal got over his drunk because he had got drunk. And when he, came, when, he, when he got sobered up, she told him, and it shocked him so he had a heart attack. And die. See, God knows who your enemies are. I think that's why the word of God says, uh, uh, I'll fight your battles if you just keep still. Amen. So every now and then we have to learn. And what, well, we can learn this from Joseph. Joseph trusted God. Joseph trusted God. And his trusting of God led to him following God and led to God doing exactly what, excuse me, exactly what God said, I'm going to take care of. You know, uh, I was, again, reading earlier about uh, this, about this child being born, uh, Jesus Christ being born. Uh -huh. and, uh, and on this point you're making here, and about the people that want him dead are now dead. And Galatians 4.4 4 mm -hmm. says, but when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, son, born of a woman, born uh, under the law. And you know, and I, was, I was reading, and, uh, and I got led to this scripture. And it kind of ties into what you're saying here. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm actually down there. <laughs> Thank you. You be the main one running from this microphone, though. <laughs> but, uh, but, but anyway, um, the point I was going to make, though, is that how, how God had this planned out so perfectly uh -huh. for Jesus Christ being born because Rome was running things. Mm -hmm. The roads were, you know, I mean, they were in charge of everything. everything. You know, the roads were, were perfect. Everybody was coming to Rome, you know, uh, once a year, you know, to, uh, to, to worship, you know, and, 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 and so Jesus Christ being born. And, and uh, everybody trying to kill him is, is, is dead, so he can he, he can grow up now. Mm -hmm. and, and then when he, you know, and, and as it goes on, when he comes to his ministry, when I mean, so the word can go forth. I mean, it just it was just it was just perfect the way God, way God had planned it out. All planned. Out. Mm -hmm. Glory you know, to God. it was just perfect for him, for him to be born, and, and people that are trying to kill him dies out, and we have this thing goes all the way mm -hmm. way through. How God just say, look, I, I got this thing. I don't make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Well, that scripture said, let God be God. Amen. Be God all by and, and, and that's what Joseph is doing. He's letting <laughs> God be God. And I like what you said that uh, uh, Jesus came in under the law. Yeah. He had to come in legally yeah. to legally change the law. Yeah. Ooh, ain't that good? Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, had he come in any other way and changed it, it wouldn't have been changed. Amen. But because he came in legally as a human being. And see, this is what blesses us. Amen. It lets us know that in our human state. Amen. But when we, we, when we receive Jesus Christ and we're filled with the Holy Ghost, we are, we, we are not we are no longer just humans. Amen. But we have a supernatural ability because of the supernatural one that's on the inside of us. Amen. See, when you get filled with the Holy Spirit, the scripture says, I believe it's in Colossians, about the Godhead fully, amen, that we have Christ, we have God the Father, we have Christ the Son, and we have the Holy Ghost all living on the inside of us. 
Amen. Glory to God. That's why greater is he. Come on now. That is in you and I. Come on now. Glory. And so with that kind of power, see, that's the reason why they didn't want Jesus to be born. That's the reason why the enemy still today is trying to keep you and I from coming into the revelation of who we are or who we become when we allow Christ to live on the inside of us. Amen. Ooh, good God Almighty. Amen. Uh, but that's what Paul said. I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ, come on now, who liveth in me. And the life I now live, watch this, in the flesh, I live by faith, come on now, in the Son of God who gave himself for me, amen. And then you got, and then, and then, and then, and who does he, God chooses his, one well, of his chief ambassadors, but call a Roman citizen. A Roman citizen. To go, to go testify or prophesy or to uh, preach before, you know, all these higher uh, ups. A Roman citizen that's legal to uh -huh. go anywhere he want to go because he's a citizen of Rome. That's right. <laughs> that's right. It's just amazing how God just do this thing. You just got to look at this and read about this thing. Ooh, that's why it's so important that you and I understand that you didn't choose me, but I chose you. Yeah. Glory to God. God knows what it's on the inside of you. That's why he chose you for such a time as this. Oh, hallelujah. See, we're getting this from, we understand, glory to God. Joseph wasn't just no eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, God help me. Oh, he, 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 he was predestined by God. <laughs> okay, 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 calm down. Dear. Glory to God, glory to God. But, but, but all of those who were seeking to kill him, they, they, they did too. They, but no, 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 no. We, we, can't, we, can't, we can't get too happy. But we can get happy. Amen. Because sin and evil is still in the world. Amen. And so Jesus and Joseph still got to deal with some other folk. Look, let's, let's, let's keep going. Uh, verse 22. But when Joseph heard that Ar Ar Archelaus, or whatever that joker name is, reigned, in, it reigned over Judah instead of his father Herod. He was afraid to go there. Amen. Look what goes on. And being warned by God in a dream. See, because Joseph had a concern about who's on the throne now, how many know God knows your concerns? Yeah. Because uh, uh, and, and what concerns you concerns God. Right. And so God says, okay, I'm going to send you to Nazareth, but again, it's already been prophesied. Glory to God. I'm going to say they're going to call him a Nazarene because, oh, come on now. See, God, God, God knows the end from the beginning. Amen. Glory to God. Got this thing wrapped up. Our job is to tap in, to get in where God is and let God show us step by step. That's old, old school. So step by step. We'll make this journey. Watch this. Even though, come on, church, our way may seem hard. Hard, hard. Oh, God. So, hallelujah. Sin is still in the world. Sin is still in the world. And watch this. Sin still poses a problem for people living in the world. Amen? We all agree. Okay, 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 okay. Because there's a scripture that says sin crouches at your door. Amen. The Bible even said about Jesus, glory to God, in Matthew 4 and Luke 4, he said, uh, 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 after Jesus defeated him in the, that, that, that word battle, glory to God, uh, the Bible says that the devil left him for a more opportune time. Hallelujah. So, see, see, so, so you, you and I got to still deal with this stuff. Here we go. Sin poses a problem when there is a problem that makes, a, makes one susceptible to sin. I'm going to say that again. Sin poses a problem for people when there's a problem in a person's life that can sometimes make them susceptible to sin. You know, sometimes a person get in a real tight Amen. They get in a real tight and, 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 and they can't see how they're going to get out of that tight. But here, 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 uh, an opportunity comes to do something wrong to get some money. Oh, y'all quiet on me. And because they're in such a tight that, that, that they, they seize that opportunity to do something that they would not have ordinarily done. So sin is still here. Amen. Glory to God. But our remedy, tell your neighbor, our remedy. 
Our remedy is going to Christ. Our remedy is depend, learning to lean and depend on Christ. Tell your neighbor no matter what. Glory to God. Uh, uh, he says here in uh, 1 Peter 5 and 8, he says, Be sober and vigilant because your adversary today walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. In other words, he can't get everybody, can he, D? Hallelujah. He, he can only get those who, who allow themselves to be drunk. Can I go there? On the world and not sober as it relates to God. Woo! And see, look, he said, since you want to get drunk, anybody want to get drunk tonight? He said, be drunk with the Holy Ghost. Why? Come on now, glory. Uh, look, I got something that ain't going to cost you nothing, and it'll take you high. Yeah. <laughs> and when you wake up, you won't have no hangover. Oh, y'all ain't help. Come on now. Woo, God is good, amen. amen. Glory to God. Oh, come on now, because the Holy Ghost party don't stop. So, so the sin problem has been dealt with. By the life, the death, and more importantly, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who's now our Lord and our Savior. Somebody shout amen. amen. And again, looking at this guy who's uh, uh, Herod's son, uh, uh, when you look at Herod's family tree, it's full of power struggles, it's full of incest, it's full of lies, it's full of all kinds of deceit. I mean, it's, it's just tore up from the floor up. And whenever you come up in a family like that, or in a culture like that, you have that kind of uh, 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 ancestry, it, 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 it ain't hard to get caught up in that lifestyle. It, it, it's not, it, it, it's not uh, uh, unlike that, per, that, that person doesn't grow up to be like some of those other folk in their family because that's what they do. Full of corruption. Full of corruption. But glory to God. We, 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 look, although we were born in sin and shaped in an iniquity, glory to God, we could get what? Born again. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. We can get a blood transfusion. Come on now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And like Joseph, just decide that we're going to follow God. That's all. Joseph decided, I'm going to follow God. I'm going to follow God. I'm going to trust God. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And again, Joseph is doing this like a shepherd. Jesus says, I'm the good shepherd. I know my sheep and I'm known by my own. And the father knows me and even so, I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. This is how Joseph is approaching uh, being the father of Jesus or the earthly father of Jesus. He's not allowing uh, uh, anything that the enemy sends to take him off the focus of his responsibility in raising Jesus up. Amen. Glory to God. Tell you that he takes it seriously. Amen. Uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, uh, your responsibility as a Christian, glory to God. Do, how, do you, how do you view your responsibility as a Christian? Glory to God. Is it, is it, is it, is it just a title that you have? Amen. Hallelujah. You know, can I, can I, can I, can I, look, I'm going to tell you something. Glory. Yeah, yeah, years ago. Years ago. Glory, years ago. Hallelujah. I told my wife, I said, baby, uh, 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 this fool I ran for mayor. I, I said, baby, I think I'm going to run for office. And uh, uh, I think we had been married a couple years. Well, now, we grew up in the church. I grew up, she was more saved than I was. Hallelujah. Bless her. I, and, and, and I thank God for her. Amen. And anyway, I said, I said, I said I'm going to run for office. And we, we were not even attending church regularly at that time. And you know what she said? Something, something just, 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 just powerful. She said, uh, one of the first things I'm going to ask you is, is you know, because I'm black. Hallelujah. Y'all didn't know I was black, did you? I'm, I'm, I'm African American. I don't know if y'all didn't know. But, but, but she said, she said, uh, they're going to ask you what church you belong to. They're going to ask you what's your religious affiliation. You know? And that, that really got my attention. The, the, the fact that folk will look at some things like that. And, you know, we started attending, attending church regularly. I'm saying all this to say that a lot of times folk come into the body of Christ with a motive that ain't got nothing to do with serving God. Yeah. Oh, y'all, come on now. Ain't got nothing to do with serving God. Yeah. A lot of folks choose being a pastor of a church 
as a career choice because they look at what this denomination has as a benefit package for you when you come in. But you've got to decide that I am called to do this. Amen. Well, it's not about the benefits that I may receive as a result of, but it's about serving God with my whole heart. Amen. Amen. To answering the calling that's on my life. So you got, you, you, you got, the Bible said many are called, yeah, God, God. but few are chosen. Amen. Yeah. And see, you got to be sent. You can't just win. Stop, stop, stop. Are y'all with me? So, 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 so Joseph is looking at this thing. And, and let's look at uh, uh, Matthew 13, 53 to 55, 53 to 56. Amen. Because, again, even though Jesus is rejected, he doesn't allow him being rejected to affect his focus on the purpose that God has for him. And I believe that a lot of that, a part of that, a little portion of that, Jesus got from watching Joseph. Amen. And it came to pass when Jesus finished his parable uh, that he departed from there. And when he had come into his own country, he taught them in their synagogues. And so, uh, uh, so that they were astonished and said, where did this man get all this wisdom and, and, and these mighty words? Notice now, Jesus is teaching in the synagogue. You had to have a level of respect within the community to be able to be allowed to preach in the, t the synagogue. Jesus has uh, a, a priestly lineage on both sides of his family, amen. But again, he had to have a reputation of one that was acceptable enough to come in. Oh, y'all still with me, amen. And a lot of that, glory to God, I believe he got from the upbringing that he had in the house of Joseph and Mary, amen. Glory to God. See, the scripture says, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he's old, he won't depart from it. Amen. And I believe that Jesus, Jesus held on to that scripture. Obey your father and your mother. Amen. Because he never disobeyed them again uh, from the age of 12 until it, when he was called into ministry. Glory to God. And we know Mary was living a godly lifestyle. It's one of the reasons she was chosen. In the Hallelujah. Family. She was a virgin. Amen. Glory to God. And again, out of all the folk in the world that God could have chose, hallelujah, he chose Joseph. Amen. And Mary. Amen. And you know, we talked about it. Deep brought it up a little while ago with the fact that he came in under the law. Glory to God. Look, uh, uh, the fact that he had chose uh, Zachariah and Elizabeth. And uh, the scripture said we are chosen before the foundation of the world. Amen. And Zachariah and Elizabeth were born before Joseph and Mary. OK, so they got they, we could kind of say that they were chose first. Amen. Uh -huh. But because they were the ones who had to bring forth John the Baptist. They couldn't have John the Baptist until Joseph and Mary was about ready. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Glory to God. So, 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 God knows exactly what he's doing, y'all. Oh, yeah. He knows exactly what he's doing. Perfect and he's perfect in all of his ways. Amen. And look, he said, because we love him. Amen. Again, Romans 8, 28. Uh, and we know that all things work together for the good of them that love God and that are the call according to his purpose. Amen. Glory to God. And if you read verse 29, there's a portion there that you and I may be conformed unto the image of his dear son. Amen. Glory to God. So what we want to do is be like Joseph. Well, as we started tonight, knowing that you're chosen, you're chosen, you're chosen, you're chosen. And God has handpicked you for such a time as this. Your life may not be what you think it ought to be, but glory to God, if you start paying attention to your dreams, if you get into the word of God and just start to muse on and meditate on the word of God, God, I truly believe, will reveal to you exactly what it is he's calling you to do right now. Amen. Glory to God. And if you start following him, there may be, the, 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 yes, there will be a level of danger. Can I just go and tell you? Yes, there will be a level of danger, but don't worry about it. He says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, I believe he says in Psalms, but God delivers him out of all of them. 
Jesus says, in this life you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. Amen. Glory to God. So don't worry about that. God got you. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And you, all you got to do is believe. Amen. And look, like that man who brought that boy who was, who was mute and the, the, the demon all over him. He said, I believe, but help now. My unbelief. Amen. Isn't it good to know that God will meet you right where you are and give you the help you need. Amen. So again, as we're closing out 2023 and, 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 and we're uh, uh, looking at this, maybe this last lesson on, on the birth of the Christ child. Amen. As we looked at Joseph, glory to God, know that you are chosen. I just can't get away from that. Know that you're chosen. And glory to God, if you're chosen, glory to God, all you got to do is let God lead you. Amen. And he will lead you and guide you in the right direction. Amen. Amen. If you're in this house tonight or in cyberspace and you've never, ever accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I need you to know that God has chosen you from the foundation of the world. The Bible says God is not slack concerning his promises as men count slackness. Uh, but he is not willing that any should perish, but that all come to repentance. Amen. God wants you saved. God wants you healed. God wants you delivered. Amen. So much so that he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die in our place on an old rugged cross. Glory to God. And see, now all you got to do is receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Amen. How you do that? I'm so glad you asked. All you got to do is confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Believe in your heart that God had raised him from the dead. And the Bible says you shall be saved. Amen. So all you got to do is confess your sins. Say, God, Father, God, forgive me of my sin. Jesus, I believe that you are the son of God. You died for my sins. Save me. Heal me. Deliver me. You make that request. And the Bible says, if you ask, you receive. If you knock, it's going to be open. If you seek, you're going to find. Amen. Glory to God. And you're going to be saved. And God's going to take you from one level of faith to the next. Amen. And then somebody may be out there who prayed that prayer, and, but you allow the trials, tribulations, the negative things that happen in this world to cause you to drift away. You drifted, but God is still the same. Amen. God is bigger than your drift. God is bigger than your drift. Amen. Glory to God. The scripture says, if you make your bed in hell, he's already there. All you got to do is say, Father, I messed up. Throw, uh, uh, what that song used to say, make me want to holler, throw up both my hands. Just, just surrender unto God right where you are, and God will meet you right there, and he'll put you back in right standing. Amen. Last but not least, if you don't have a church home, we're here at Mount Carmel Ministries. We're located at 2015 Grove Street. We'll be glad to have you as a part of our congregation. Amen. And we'll teach you as the Holy Spirit of God teaches us how you too can win in every single area of your life. Amen. Glory to God. Father God, we thank you for what you've done in this house tonight. Father, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. We praise you. Jesus, we lift you up. We magnify you in this place. We thank you for everything that you've done. We thank you for everything that you're doing. We thank you for everything that you're going to do. And Father, we pray in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus that we, oh God, carry out the commission, carry out the mission, carry out the assignments that you have given us in these last days. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. Hug somebody, tell them that you're sure enough, stomp down, love them, and they can't do nothing about it. Amen. Glory to God. Huh?